a cup of tea. She's out on the road and all over the web with a big smiling heart. It's about town, Deb. And welcome to this week's episode of City Talk. And I am about town, Deb, your host, Debbie McCarthy. I'm excited to um, be here and I want to thank um, Phoenix Media and you can connect Phoenix Media at phoenixmedia.us 24-7. If you'd like more information about this show or other shows or your own show 24-7, you can text me. Well, actually, I'm using my phone again instead of my laptop. So if you text me, I won't be able to see it. So I guess you're going to have to, I don't know, you can text Georgia. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm excited today because today we have a special announcement. So if you're looking at your Zoom, you will see Mike Owen with Crystal Basin. Do a little hands up. Of course, you know that's like, hello, Mike. Hola. Uh, hola. Uh, and uh, happy holidays to you, festive chicas. Ah, I like it. And we have Tracy Barnhouse with Travel Nevada. Tracy, welcome. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. I love your backdrop. I love the oh, whole thank Travel you. Nevada. It's pretty cool. And at the second half of the show, you will have Sarah Tony with the Notables because they have some holiday Christmas caroling and stuff we're going to chat about. But I used at the very beginning, want to say a little bit about my week. So last night, I had my time to adventure together date. I was auctioned off for Northern Nevada Children's Cancer Foundation. So I want to thank Reno Tahoe Limo. They picked us up in a limo. We went to Wild River Grill where the minute we walked in, they like showed up with champagne and they treated us to an amazing dinner. It was so good. And then we got back in the limousine and we had, um, well, I like Nevada, Nevada Sunset Bubbles, which Mike can share a little bit about that because he's connected to that as well. But Gary isn't really a champagne drinker. He's more of a beer drinker. So we had great facing. I thought I got to like make sure I get my date what they like. And we had Dorinda's <laughs> chocolate, which I only got like three caramels because by the time we looked in the sack, they were gone. He ate them all. So Dorinda, we loved your chocolate. So the Christmas lights, I don't trace, I don't even know, you're a local, you you have little ones. You might have, I've never done it that this year. This I mean, this was my first year and the lights were so exciting. I felt like a kid. You know, you're in the limo and you can hear music on like there's certain stations. Oh, it was so cool. Have you done it before? Have you seen them? I've not. You, no, I mean, we've done the whole drive around different neighborhoods and look for look oh. for lights. But yeah, there's, you know, that's a tradition it's for sure. It's cool. So if you, I think if you go, um, I, I know Yelp might have shared it and the Reno, uh, Reno Moms blog, and I think the Reno Dads blog may have it. Um, I'll be sure to post it on my page at some point. But I'm telling you, it is incredible. I really, I feel like I was in Disneyland. So that was... Um, like my big excitement and I wanted to share, I don't want to get the amount wrong. So with everybody bidding, um, the bids closed Friday at, was it Friday night at midnight? Mm -hmm. Friday night at midnight. And they have raised three, oh, $3,543 and that's doubled by the William M. Pennington. So that's $7,086. So I'm very grateful for everybody who made their bids and I'm excited. So got all that done. And also Kim Surratt, ah, Surratt Law Practice. Thank you for sponsoring. And Dee Dee James, you heard his song and I'm sure Mike knows, knows Dee Dee as well. So I am ready to, we have a surprise. So Mike is a surprise guest and he's always a welcome guest. But can you, I had to like move stuff around, but you see this bottle here? Can you guys see it? These are my masks, together we're one heart. And underneath this mask is the very first bottle of About Town Deb wine. Now, Mike, I would love you to come on because this is all because of Mike. Uh, you know, Mike. It, it, this has been a project that's a long time coming and I, it, yeah, I'm trying to peel the smile off of my face from the D.D. James uh, lead in music. I know. That was hilarious. And so you, get a, you get a lead in and you get your own wine in the same week. Wow. Is that cool? And so it's food, wine, and travel. And Mike, say a little bit. I wouldn't be able to do this without Mike. I went to Mike and I well, actually, Courtney and Chris with Design on Edge said, you need a wine label. And I said, well, okay. So she designed one. And I said, Mike, how do we make that happen? And of course, he did. So now I got to show you that I do know how to open wine, but I don't know. Well, so I have not yeah. opened. This is my first. Here we go. 
Okay. There it is. So Look at this, that. There it is. This is like the first pour. Yes, yes, I'm so I'm like shaking. This is so cool. But we wanted to do this live with all of our guests and our fans, the people who supported me. Oh, oops, Georgia, there's yours. And then if anybody else, like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Right. And then I'll let you tell them a little bit about the what kind of wine it is. Right. So here Clink. we go. Clink. Cheers. Clink. So this is a dedication to my dad, Papa Tony. And together we're one heart. That's why we're, oh, I'm just so excited. Because a portion of the proceeds are going to go to a local nonprofit. So Mike, thank you and cheers. And tell us what we're drinking. So one of the uh, wines that's, that's super popular and it kind of mm -hmm. goes with everything in like the About Town Deb kind of um, way, uh, it's everywhere and everyone can enjoy it, uh, is a red blend. And so this wine has some Zinfandel and some Syrah and some Merlot. And, uh, and I think there's one other thing floating around in there that I'll, I'll remember here in a minute. Okay. But the key, is, um, the key is, it goes with everything. So think about the complexity of your Thanksgiving or your Christmas dinner, where you've got everything from yams and marshmallows all the way down to, uh, to butter and rolls and cranberry sauce. What you want is something that'll work with everybody and for everybody at that kind of dinner. And because these, okay. it's smooth and it's tasty and you will make lots of friends with it. That's why I thought it was a perfect thing to get your label on, Deb. I like it. Well, don't go away because we're going to take a quick break for our first break. We After the show, you can always catch us on Spotify, Stitcher, all those kind of cool podcasts. I'm still learning about all that kind of stuff, but we are podcast after. So hang tight. It's about town, Deb. City Talk. We'll be right back and we'll talk a little bit more about wine and then we'll talk about traveling. Okay. I spend a lot of time in the backyard, and I'm the center of attention at summer barbecues. In 96, I made some of the tastiest s'mores, and in 09, it was me, your backyard fire pit, that accidentally started a wildfire when a summer breeze carried one of my embers into some dry brush. Spark a change, not a wildfire. Visit SmokeyBear.com, brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Only you can prevent wildfires. Hope you enjoyed your meal. And I just want to say, he's lucky to have a brother like you. Lucky? Caring for my brother is far from easy. But he's a part of me, like my arms and legs, so I'll be his. No time for tired. Nothing can disable this love. He needs me, but I'm the lucky one, even though I need help now and then. If you're caring for a loved one, visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Support for your strength. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. What if I told you that a tornado was going to happen tomorrow, right where you live? That it would touch down at exactly 3.17 p.m. and I told you the exact path it would take. You would, of course, prepare. You would talk with your loved ones and you'd make a plan today. It's true, I can't tell you a tornado will strike tomorrow, but shouldn't you have a plan anyway? Go to ready.gov slash communicate and make your emergency plan today. Don't wait, communicate. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. This is Mario Andretti. You know me as a race car driver, but I'm also a Meals on Wheels volunteer. I've raced against the sport's biggest personalities, but I've never met more vibrant, amazing people than the seniors served by Meals on Wheels. You can make a difference by dropping off a hot meal and saying a quick hello. So America, let's do lunch. Volunteer your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. This message brought to you by Meals on Wheels America and the Ad Council. In the small town of Elmira, New York, a boy was born into an all-American family. The odds of him achieving his dream in the fashion industry? One in 23 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 68. I am Tommy Hilfiger, and my family is affected by autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org signs. 
Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. Now more than ever, family matters, and Surratt Law Practice has your family in mind. Kimberly Surratt and her team have been helping maintain healthy families through their holistic approach to adoption and surrogacy, child custody, estate planning, and more for over 13 years. Your family law concerns are in caring hands with Surratt Law. Schedule your private consultation with a compassionate Surratt Law Practice team member today by calling 775-636-8200 or visiting Lord lawyersforfamilies.com. Surratt Law, where family matters. You're listening to Phoenix Media. Listen live and explore more great shows at phoenixmedia.us. She's out on the road and all over the web with a big smiling heart. It's about town, Deb. My town, your town, or any town, this is About Town Deb presents City Talk. Now back to the show. And welcome back to the second segment of City Talk, and I'm about town dub. We love this segment with Mike sharing a little bit more about the wine. And we're going to tell you how you can get the wine. You may have to be a little bit more patient because we're going to do a launch of it. But right now, Mike generously shipped a case to me. So this is, like I say, the very first bottle. And I think I might sign, Mike, I think we may do like one of 100 and sign them. Because I think that would be cool. Like, this would be the first one. And then that way, my team and everybody's worked so hard would be having the first bottles. And then everybody who supports us will get a signed bottle. I think you that's You want to create cool. collector's items. Absolutely. Let's do it. We're going to do that. So I'm going to read. And I, I don't mean to be rude to read it like this, guys. But my eyes are not that good. So I'm going to put it a little close. This is, it's all about the story. As Mike said, you know, like we're a team. And we, oh, I just love you. I'm so excited to have Mike's support. So. Uh, on the label, it says, hi. Well, not hi. It says, my name is About Town Doug. It has always been my passion to bring family, friends, and communities together. Much like a branch that is connecting to the vine, we are all uniquely connected to each other, which is why every bottle you enjoy, a portion of it will go to local nonprofits. A special thank you to my dad, Papa Tony, for sharing the gift of love, grace, and kindness. Let us all, cheers, so we'll get the cheers again. Let us all, cheers to memorial, memorable memories. Here we go. And remember that together we're one heart. So this is all another aspect of my campaign, Together We're One Heart. Um, I'm just so honored, Mike. I just cannot uh, thank you enough. The whole, uh, it fits what you're trying to do very well because the best thing you can do with wine is share it. Uh, wine, certainly you can enjoy wine by yourself, but it's very much a social uh, element. It's a, it's a lubrication for people uh, and it helps, uh, it just helps create the conversation. And um, yes. that's, uh, <laughs> it's gonna, I, I hope it adds just another arrow to your quiver, Deb. Thank you, I love it. Well, um, Mike, share your website because you will be able to get this pretty darn soon before Christmas for those last minute gifts. What is your website? And you'll get some within the next few days. Well, I don't know if I can get down. Um, I think uh, I think if people order um, by Monday evening, then okay. we can have it in their uh, hands in Reno market, probably Wednesday. You know, it's uh, getting a little yeah. tight on UPS at that moment, but I think so. So and, how uh, cool is that, guys? We can yeah, get and, amazing, amazing mm -hmm. wine produced by Michael so and his crystalbasin.com. And then it just goes to buy our wines, and then Deb will have her own um, kind of icon on there, uh, you know, uh, about town Deb. And then those wines, we've decided that we're going to do them in three packs, and then Deb's going to subsidize the shipping. Yes. So the um, the shipping or the the total dollars uh, on uh, that would that uh, there's going to be charged is seventy five dollars. Um, Plus the local tax, and that includes the shipping. That's for three bottles. Yeah, and then we're also going to do a, we're going to do a case special as well. That's right. The case special is nine hundred and twenty-seven dollars and eighteen cents, and free shipping. Oh, are you are you serious? I don't remember that. He might nice, be pulling your leg. We'll it's find a nice, out. It's a nice round number. Now, okay, it's two hundred dollars. Well, two hundred dollars <laughs> plus a uh, plus a ten dollars shipping on the case. And so that's um at sixteen bucks a bottle. You can support the local nonprofits. You can enjoy that. You can be generous and give a couple bottles out. 
and get invited mm-hmm. back to those holiday parties, not just get invited yes. one time. You want to get invited years, back. This is the best. So, Mike, we will, um, Courtney and Chris and Tucker were in um, Britain. Griffith and Brian Bosma, we're all working out how we're going to launch this. So stay tuned. We will give you the date when it will be up on Mike's website. We'll also have it on my website that will take you to Mike's. And we have some other ideas up our sleeve, but we're not going to share everything right now because we are always creating and being creative and finding ways to keep us all together no matter what's happening in the universe. So Mike, thank you. Welcome to stay on and chat a little bit, but I'm going to go right now to Tracy. And we're going to talk about travel about, and I think this, I think that this would be a nice bottle to put in gift baskets that you give to companies and people, just welcome them to our state. Well, I'm that. sure that Tracy owes hundreds of favors, so we could work this out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am grateful. It's crystalbasin.com, correct? That's correct. Thanks, And Deb. abouttowndeb.com. I adore you. Tell Melissa hello. Your team is incredible. I'm honored and blessed to have you as part of my life. So cheers. Merry, Merry Christmas to all of you. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Okay. All my friends in Northern Nevada. Okay. Well, you can hang until the break if you'd like. Tracy, come on back. Let's get Tracy Hello. back. Oh, my gosh. I am so happy that you are you are on this call because if you remember way back when you were at the – is it when you were at the Atlantis – Mm-hmm. You were at the Atlantis, and it was one of the events, and we were in the parking lot, and we were trying to figure out, like, what is About Town Dub? And way back then, you're like, you're an influencer, and there wasn't even an influencer back then. Nobody even used that word. Seriously, I remember that. I'm like, okay, like, what's that? And you're like, that's what you do. So anyway, I'm just very honored <laughs> that you're here today to be a part of the launching and the first bottle being corked. I'm happy to yeah. have you here. You've always been... It's- in my corner and I appreciate you so well it's so exciting to see how much you've grown and you know have your little tentacles out everywhere it's so exciting to see (laughs) you know you succeed so I'm happy to be along for the ride well speaking of being everywhere I love the phrase of like on on um travelnevada.com home means Nevada for the holidays and that's why we're here today there's so many cool things that we could do in our own backyard local hot spots where we can go shopping. And I've already been shopping and I've already taken photos and they will be up on my Facebook page. And we're going to be doing a blog as well. So I would love you to tell us a little bit about how they come up with that concept and tell us about this whole, the picks. It's um, yeah. Nevada pride picks, correct? Yeah. This yeah, we have the, yeah. Right. <laughs> the Nevada pride shopping guide is what shopping we put guide. together and kind of yes. like Mike was talking with um, the, you know, the red blend, there really is, you have your list of gifts that you have to give to people and everybody has their likes and things that they, you know, prefer to do. And that's what we've kind of done with this Nevada Pride Shopping Guide. We've outlined a number of really great gifts that you can give or experiences that you can, you can have to book for later. Because right now we know travel is a little bit um, harder to do. So we're under a travel pause. So we gave some ideas of things that you can do once travel reopens. I know a lot of us are itching to get out there and um, explore like we used to. So we made sure to include that as part of the Nevada Pride Shopping Guide. But we've broken it up into six different categories. So it really hits all of the people on your list. And in this all Nevada Pride, all Nevada companies, um, and some really amazing things. I think I've done most of my shopping personally using this list. Um, you can find something for, for just about anybody on your list using the guide. Well, I can totally agree to that because I have been shopping as well. So um, as you all know, I love Dorinda's chocolate. Who does not like chocolate, right? I So you're out there and you know you normally get a gift from me. Be ready to get some sweets. And my younger son said, Mom, I want for Christmas the Frey Ranch bourbon. I, I love Frey Ranch. I love Fallon. I know it's crazy. It's out there. But there's something about I feel like I'm on a farm. And I love the whole idea of being in the country. So I thought of the idea of having a, 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 a three-pack, have their gin, their vodka, and their, their bourbon whiskey, and have it because pretty soon they're not going to be um, having their vodka and their gin. So you can have it be like a collector's bottle. I think it's a great gift. That's so. a great gift idea. I also like how Dorinda's offers a monthly subscription box, so mm. you can like keep giving that gift throughout the year. I think that's mm. really awesome that they do that. Um, and definitely something to, you know, keep the gift giving going all year long. I do. I didn't even think about that. That is a great gift. 
I love it. Okay, I may have to for that other hard to per, hard person. Hard to how, how do you say that? Hard to person. Hard to person. Hard to person, person I don't know how you say that. <laughs> hard, whatever that person. That's a great gift, especially if they have a sweet yeah. tooth. And then as an adventure, I also picked um, the Carson Hot Springs. As you know, I was really blessed. My um, Jazzy George and I were able to go down there. And it was so relaxing. I feel with all the holiday stress and everything, that's a great adventure. Have you been there? What do you think about that one? I, man, the Ho Carson Hot Springs, I love it so much. And it's right next door to Sassafras, which is yes. such an amazing restaurant. Mm -hmm. I think it's so nice that you can go and get your, so your soak and get you know, some really great food right there. It's just a great place. You know, um, I know the kids up in Washoe County are about to go on holiday break. So it's a, I think it would be a great Ooh. place to take the family during the break and maybe, you know, get some food to go. Um, it's just a great place. Did you try the, the hammer when you were there? Oh, do we try the hammer? Mm -mm. I don't know if we okay, did. So. What's the hammer? Oh, so yeah, it's, a, it's a, they call it a muscle tenderizing water spout. It's called the hammer and it's supposed to work out any sort of you know, knots you might have in your muscles. So next time you go, make sure you, you look for the hammer. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the restaurant, like the oh. hammer. You're the, I'm like, what? I know you a lot of unique food. Oh, yes, the hammer. I think they, they put it on for us, but because of we were they were trying to, anyway, yes, I did not try it, but I saw it. Yes, I didn't. I do, that was amazing. I love that. And I, the other thing I really want to do, I haven't done it, and this is, um, this is more the discover. I I want to like um, do the turquoise mine tours. I think that would be a great adventure. My one son is into gems. Wouldn't that be a great oh. gift for like to go on a mom and son adventure? So that oh that would be so much fun. Yes, there's there's so many opportunities for rock hounding in Nevada, and we have really great resources on travelnevada.com if you want to look into that more of the other places around the state that you can go to. But yeah, down, out in Tonopah, about three hours south, that's the, a great place to go mining for turquoise and absolutely a great gift to give for the future. I love it. It's time for a break again. I cannot believe that it goes by so fast. So we're gonna take that. We want your feedback. So if you're on social media, leave us a comment. If you have your favorite pick or places in Nevada, please share with us. Um, when we come back, we are gonna bring in Sarah, I think, but Tracy and I have a lot more to talk about. And Sarah, the other, anyway, Sarah might have some tips as well, because I know she's an outdoorsy person. So we'll be right back. To be talking about I'm going to drop, ladies. Have a great okay. holiday. Okay. Bye. 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 Cheers again, Mike. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Saying to your friend, get a different face And posting on their feed, they're super ugly The things they say to them online are cruel and they're not true So tell your friend, I'll stand up for you Don't worry, I know what to do Know someone being bullied online? You can be a witness and make a difference By letting the world know it isn't cool And by letting your friend know you care Learn more at eyewitnessbullying.org Brought to you by the Ad Council Keyboard Cat, Hamilton the Pug, and Toast Meets World. These are some of the internet's most beloved pets. And they all have one thing in common. Their stories started in a shelter. Start your story. Adopt a dog or cat today. Visit theshelterpetproject.org to find a pet near you. Training that pet to play the keyboard, that's optional. Start a story. Adopt a shelter or rescue pet today. Brought to you by Maddie's Fund, the Humane Society of the United States, and the Ad Council. Allison is perfect. I mean, she'd never tell you that. She's humble and perfect. She likes everyone. She even likes her untidy roommate's weird guinea pig. Allison, wait, are you texting and driving? Allison, no. That's the exact opposite of what I was just saying about you. Why, Allison? Why? Texting and driving makes good people look bad. Visit StopTextStopRex.org, brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. We are live outside the home of Joe and Rosie Goddard, where a pretty big tickle fight broke out just minutes ago. Sources say their father instigated the laughter. Let's go inside for a comment. <laughs> Apparently, they have no comment. Dads, let this be a reminder that it only takes a moment to make a moment. 
Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Hello, Kubo. What have you got planned for today? Come on, this way. Adventure can be found anywhere, but the best place to start is in the forest. It's the most powerful magic there is. Head outside to discover incredible animals. Wow. And beautiful plants that come together to create an unforgettable adventure. <laughs> so grab your loved ones and explore a world of possibilities. Visit discovertheforest.org to find the closest forest or park to you. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the U.S. Forest Service. My teacher said that we should have a plan in case of an emergency. Do we have one? First thing I'm going to do is grab a flashlight with dead batteries. I'm going to start randomly throwing clothes in the bag. You two will be hiding in the closet and Dad won't be able to find you. And that's when we both start crying. Uncontrollably. Can you pass the cutlets? Winging it is not an emergency plan. Make sure your kids know what to do during an emergency. Who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Search ReadyKids at NYC.gov or call 311. Brought to you by the New York City Office of Emergency Management and the Ad Council. You're listening to Phoenix Media, the future of broadcasting. Listen live at phoenixmedia.us. You know that's what she said. Come on, let's have some fun with the About Town Deb. My town, your town, or any town, this is About Town Deb presents City Talk. Now, back to the show. And we're back for the third segment of City Talk, and I'm About Town Deb. As I mentioned in the beginning, we'd love you to join the party. As you know, I'm About Town Deb, my town, your town, any town, let's connect. It's all about being together. As we say, together we're one heart. And um, we'd love you to chime in and join the watch parties. You can re-watch it afterwards. So um, I'm just really happy to be here today. And we have Tracy, who has been with us. We had Mike Owen, which we launched our new about town dev wine at the very beginning of beginning of the show and now we're we have sarah tony who i adore um with the notables and we go way back and speaking of if this is a dedication of papa tony sarah that's good that you're here too because sarah sarah played a, a, a special or she has a special place with my dad they they loved chatting over coffee and laughing and um i know he's smiling down knowing that sarah's here for this so i'm grateful to have you here so we are going to talk about sarah's event and some cool stuff but right now we're going to go back to traveling because we all want to try to travel safely and after all this craziness is gone and so sarah feel free to like chime in if you have a, a favorite nevada hot spot as we're talking about it as well so tracy tell me your favorite adventure uh getaway and i know that there's a really cool i was looking at the website and it kind of like popped out at me it's the grab and go getaway and i feel like i need to grab and go somewhere at some point but i'd love you to share your pick and then talk about that yeah so um we created as a subset of travelnevada.com we created discoveryournevada.com which is um, targeted to nevadans and gives you an idea of things to do out in your community so i think oftentimes um, we don't uh, realize what's out there. We maybe stick to our, you know, same destinations over and over again. And there's so much to do within our state that we we launched Discover Your Nevada to kind of share some of those. So as part of that, there are some grab and go itineraries that are, you know, they they're they're anywhere from just a day trip to maybe an overnight trip. Um, and just depending on what you want, if you want a family friendly trip, if you're looking for, you know, a little getaway with your with um, just your spouse. Um, to make it easy for people to find things to do. So my favorite is really, really hard to pick because I, I mean, I feel like, I mean, I love all of Nevada's towns and it's really hard for me to pinpoint one. But last summer, my family and I took the loneliest road in America on Highway 50 out to Ely and the Nevada Northern Railway. We took um, a train ride, which was super, super fun. And then went down to Great Basin National Park, which is stunning and just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's one of the least visited national parks in our country. So mm. you feel like you have the whole space to yourself, which is great right now in a time of COVID. Um, so uh, that's that's high on my list of places to go, but it's, I mean, I could keep going of other places too. There's so many. <laughs> well, I I had mentioned um, not, we I talked about the turquoise and doing the mine tours, but I, I've never been skydiving. And I, that's kind of on my, I'm a little bit afraid, but I didn't realize that we had that ability to do all this kind of like out of the box kind of fun adventures. So have you been skydiving? 
I've not been skydiving, but you can do, I, there's, a, there's a lot of opportunities down in the Carson Valley area out of Minden. Um, you can skydive Lake Tahoe. There's also Soaring Envy, which is, uh, oh, gives you that's on my to list pilot. too. Yeah, you can pilot a glider plane and go over kind of the views of, yeah. of Tahoe. It's super adventurous. I want to do that. Looking for kind of a thrill. That is going to check that, that box for you. <laughs> I'm all, we know we're always, right now we all need a little bit of a thrill, okay? A I am totally, and if you could be outdoors, even better. I'm really yeah. getting in, this one thing that all this has done, it is, it has brought, I think, all of us, families closer together, and we're all, I mean, a lot of, I know I am, I'm walking, I'm outside more, I'm hiking, I'm enjoying it, and, and Sarah, I know that she, she's all into the feet on the ground and to feel all that. I remember she had told me one day, like, you know, you really need to just go outside, take your shoes off and put your feet in the dirt. I remember that. Isn't that odd? Like, that came up, but <laughs> she, you did say that, right, Sarah? <laughs> 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 yeah, because it makes you feel better. It really does. It, if I get really stressed out, actually, thank you, because I'm kind of stressed out today. I'm going to go home and I'm going to put my bare feet on the dirt because it just I, yeah in the glass of wine if i had a bottle of your wine debbie i did not know that was happening this is Bre this is this is the first bottle opened on air today where can i brand new it? that's so cool you will be able to go to crystalbasin.com and you could order it and they ship it right to your door the shipping will be included i know and then we have other ideas for the future, but you will most likely be seeing these in my gift baskets as well that I love to donate to all my favorite nonprofits. And it's a great gift. So we'll be able to get it in time for Christmas. But um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so Tracy, tell us a little bit more about how we can get on the website and how we can find out how we can plan our individual getaway. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. So travelnevada.com and the Nevada Pride Shopping Guide, that's what you'll need to search to find kind of that list of all the different places that you can shop in local here, locally here in Nevada, not just northern Nevada, all over Nevada. Um, we have we have options for, for folks there. So um, yeah, it's really, you know, we made it simple. Along there on that page, you can find those grab and go itineraries as well. So um, and we also encourage you to go to travelnevada.com and that's where you can find more information about you know, the rock hounding that we were talking about earlier yes. or, you know, um, driving up to Gerlach and seeing the, the pottery store up there. That's Planet X Pottery, which is fantastic. Um, that's where you can find more information. We have tons of information on TravelNevada.com to um, to give you some more ideas of things to do within the state. I have to say you guys have done a great job because I see Travel Nevada commercials. I hear it on Pandora, I see them on TV, they're on the radio. You have done an amazing job. And I all but when I see the commercials, I just feel like I want to get out and have some fun. So whoever whoever did the marketing on that, kudos to them because it makes me want to travel about it. I want to get you. out. I I'm glad play. to hear you say that. Yeah, it's, it's, you guys have done a great job. And I, when it's time, I want to be one of the first ones out there as About Town Deb. I want to plan a really cool adventure and I'm excited yeah. for that. And but on my Facebook page and on my website, there will be a blog of my tips, picks that we talked about today, a little bit more detail. So I'm excited. And I, have, I took photos of me at Dorinda's. I have photos of the Frey Ranch and also Home Means Nevada. I have the, the shop downtown. I went there with Jazzy Georgia and I bought quite a few. I want to say I got five five people checked off my Christmas list in just that one. So That's a great yeah. store. That's really, if but you're I, looking for, you know, some last minute things, that's a great place oh, to stop and, and grab some perfect. Nevada swag. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we definitely want you guys all to support local. Wherever you're listening from, support your hometown, support your state. We're blessed to live in Nevada and we love it. And we're so grateful to be here. And um, Tracy, I just want to, I would love you to stay because yeah. you might want to chime in because you have little ones that are growing up quickly. But what Sarah has planned to share with us is going to be of interest to you if you haven't okay. heard about it yet. So let's bring back Sarah. Hello. Officially. I'm so excited to be here talking with you today. Thank you. Well, I am happy to have you here. So you guys have probably had to pivot quite a bit. So you are with the Notables Music Therapy. And a lot of people may not know about the Notables. So tell us a little bit about the Notables. And I'm sure that you've had to pivot like everybody else. And I'm excited to hear about your Jingle Jangle Jolly Joy Jam. So we, I know a, a break's coming up pretty soon, but you have three minutes to introduce a little bit about yourself and about the organization. And then when we come back, 
if we don't have, you know, we'll, we'll finish off. Okay, sounds good. So what Notable Music Therapy Services does is basically we create lasting change in the lives of people of all abilities through music. But so basically um, we serve pretty much anybody from one to 92 as the song goes and it's um, and we can really help people through music. And so we serve a lot of people with disabilities as kind of our core services, providing musical opportunities for people who otherwise don't have opportunities to uh, participate in music. But we also do a lot of music therapy for people who have uh, mental health challenges, addiction, neurological issues like Alzheimer's and dementia, chronic pain. It's a huge, uh, a broad range of things that music can be used for. And that can include just having a really good time at home with your family during the holidays because we're all stuck at home. We all need something fun to do. And there's hardly anything better than singing your favorite songs. I mean, listening to music is one thing, but it's a lot more fun if you're singing along, particularly if you have little ones who who really want to experience that magic and joy of Christmas. So that's what Saturday is about. Well, I'm excited. So um, how do we find out more about it? And when we come back from break, do you have the box? Because what they're going to, I want you to tell us like how they can participate, like hands on. Yeah, you know, uh, so people can uh, register to, to participate now and you can go to givebutter.com slash jingle. So givebutter.com slash jingle. Also, if you go to our webpage, if you find nmtsfreno.org, You'll find all sorts of information there, but the actual live stream is going to be on givebutter.com slash jingle. And then um, we are actually sold out of our pot party boxes. So yeah. one of the only ways, I know, I know, um, one of the only ways you can now get one of these spectacular things is through the giveaway that we're going to be doing with you. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, that is so, that's congrats on that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, so do you have one we could peek at? Will you be able to show yeah. us one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so kind of get it out because I know it's almost time. Okay, you let's let's get that box. I think we have, oh my goodness. Yeah, so do you see all that goodness in there? Oh Most my, yes, I see. The yeah, so you a have box, a, a bottle yeah. of Black Rock rum and Ooh. a hundred rum mixed from Seven Troughs. They don't oh, I love Seven Troughs. And then we have, um, Kettle corn from Jack's Popcorn. I don't know if you guys know Jack's, but he's a, he's I, a young man. Down I need to. I need to. Yeah, they're awesome. And then Urban Market gave us a bunch of stuff. A lot of goodies, like um, these really fun, these like cream filled, uh, they're these really long cookies. Kids would adore Ooh. these, they're so fun. Um, granola from Batch Cupcakery. Ooh, cool. Uh, sugar and spice pretzels. There's all sorts of fun things. So we have all of the little snacks that you need and beverages. And then to make it easy to sing along, you'll have song lyrics. Oh, I love it. Okay. And then, well, um, this one's super fun. We have 12 days of Christmas activities all set up. So you can just put this on your refrigerator. And then we have um, an artist who created coloring sheets. I love and you it. See, it says "Jingle Jangle Jolly Joy Jam." I love it. And so with that, with that, it's almost it's time for breaks. So we're going to take another break. It's our fourth and final break. You are watching City Talk. I'm about town Deb. I am with Tracy and with Sarah. So hang tight. We'll be right back. has a rhythm all its own. Don't wreck it with a text. Before you get behind the wheel, silence your phone. Or better yet, designate a texter. For more text-free driving tips, visit StopTextStopRex.org. 
brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Now more than ever, family matters, and Surratt Law Practice has your family in mind. Kimberly Surratt and her team have been helping maintain healthy families through their holistic approach to adoption and surrogacy, child custody, estate planning, and more for over 13 years. Your family law concerns are in caring hands with Surratt Law. Schedule your private consultation with a compassionate Surratt Law Practice team member today by calling 775-636-8200 or visiting lawyersforfamilies.com. Surratt Law, where family matters. Okay, what are you wearing right now? Nothing. That's right. So mommy's going to teach you how to dress yourself. Underwear always comes first. Name tag at the back, then pants, then shirt. Get the first button in the right hole or you have to start all over. Socks going first, then shoes right on right, left on left. With shoelaces, just take the ends, cross them over, switch the loops, the rabbit goes down the hole, pull tight, and you left with money ears. Got it? Why are your pants on your head? Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day, making sure they brush their teeth is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Visit 2 men 2 xorg to find out more. A message from the Partnership for Healthy Mouths, Healthy Lives, and the Ag Council. This message is for all of you sitting in the passenger seat. And apologies if it gets a little uncomfortable. But how does it feel to be at the mercy of someone who thinks a random text is more important than your life? Someone who takes their eyes off the road while speeding along in a three-ton hunk of steel. Freaky, right? Well, why not just ask them to stop? Or better yet, volunteer to text for them. It might be a little awkward, but believe me, you'll live. Learn more at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. We are live outside the home of Joe and Rosie Goddard, where a pretty big tickle fight broke out just minutes ago. Sources say their father instigated the laughter. Let's go inside for a comment. <laughs> Apparently, they have no comment. Dads, let this be a reminder that it only takes a moment to make a moment. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. How's it going? I'm having a stroke. Are you going to shake my hand? I'm having a stroke. Wow, you're not even moving your arm. I'm having a stroke. When someone is having a stroke, they may not be able to say it with words, but their body language will tell you loud and clear. Look for FAST. F. Face drooping. A. Arm weakness. S. Speech difficulty. T. Time to call 911 immediately. Know the sudden signs. Spot a stroke fast. Visit strokeassociation.org. Brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. You're listening to Phoenix Media, the future of broadcasting. Explore more great shows at phoenixmedia.us. Ready to help from her toes to her head. Just give her a shout. Call about town, Deb. My town, your town, or any town, this is About Town Deb presents City Talk. Now, back to the show. And we're back for the fourth and final segment of City Talk. And I'm About Town Deb. It goes by too darn fast. Um, before I forget, I always give a shout out to Grandma B and Aunt Glenda. So, Grandma B, thank you for my little, she always puts a little thing that says, and she always remembers Papa. So, it says, Deb. Papa, Josh, Joey, Merry Christmas, Grandma B, love you all. Aww. And she always gets a, some, a little snowman. It's a, it's a tradition, and she never forgets Papa. So I want her to know that we appreciate it, and our little snowman is with us today. So thank you, Grandma B and Aunt Glenda. It's kind of like the Carol Burnett does this. I, I just say it. <laughs> I want to let her know I'm grateful for her. So, um, Sarah, I want to go back, and I'd love you to t – well, I guess you can't. You can't buy anymore, but you can win one, right? You can win one, and you can win so one. Tell us about that. From you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, you know, we put together these giveaways to uh, encourage people to buy these boxes and then we sold them out anyway. So you can't buy them <laughs> anymore from us. And you know why we sold them out? Because they're awesome. And I so, know. yeah. So to get one of these wonderful things, what you have to do is go to a, a well, Deb, you need to share it. And then about, people just need, it. right. And then what they need to do is, is like your page, and like your our page. page. And what is your page? Uh, Notable Music Therapy Services. Yes. And then, um, and if they tag two people on that post, then they get entered to win. It's kind of a high bar, but you know what? This is a really good box and this is the only way you're going to get it. So if I think that's so exciting. I'm so excited about it. Yeah. So I will uh, make sure that my Sarah, who does all that cool stuff, we will be putting that out there. And you guys, please go on both our pages, like our pages. It'll be on Instagram and Facebook and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. So, and in our stories. So we're excited about that. Um, so what else do you have going on? Any last minute shout outs you'd like to give us before we talk about a few more things? 
Yeah, well, what I'd really like to have people do is just register. Uh, this is a free event, but if you register oh. for it, I mean, you can just come, you know. So if you forget and you think, oh, I didn't register, it doesn't matter. Just come and watch and sing along. You'll know almost all the songs. And um, it's going to be our band, The Notables. It's going to be oh, um, participants of Notable Music Therapy Services, so people of all abilities. And then it's also going to be... Uh, about 12 local musicians. So people who you already oh. know and love, like Eric Anderson's going to be there. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ruth Lenz of you. the Reno Phil is going to be there. Janesse Carter, um, wow. Sophie Moeller. Uh, there's going to be a lot of Sophie. really super oh. fun songs. And so it's like all of these people that we know and love. Gary Kephart's going to be there with oh. his band, Mash Confusion. I like and that. And he did a special mashup just for us. And so wow. it's, it's just going to be a blast. And, um, and it's so it's one, it's going to be a really good time. We all need joy in our life, but if you go and you register now, then I will send you downloads Ooh. of all the song lyrics. So yes, you can sing along and, um, or you can make your kids sing or whatever. <laughs> and we will also send you coloring sheets. Oh. And we will send you the 12 days of Christmas activity sheet. So you can put this on your fridge and then you'll have 12 days of extra activities. And then one of the things that's really neat that's in this box that I'm super excited about is our music therapists. So music therapists are therapists who know how to use music to make you better, basically, right? So in this box, they, or this little jar, they have 52 musical activities. So for every week of the year, you can get in here and pull one out and say, okay, family, this is what we're doing. Okay. Play musical chairs with friends or family gently. And so it's just like, okay, this is what we're doing. Some of them are really fun. Some of them, uh, well, they're actually all quite fun, but they're, um, some of them are like, this one, one of my favorite ones was like, grab a friend and play patty cake. Oh, how like, cute. Was that not we got a kick in the pants? <laughs> you remember? Yeah. She doesn't know. I, <laughs> right? Is it like this? Like that. You go like that, right? Yeah. Is that I it? don't know. Oh, so that's Daddy this cake. one. Daddy, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tracy, right? I know. You start singing the song, though, it'll come back. <laughs> it will come back. I love it. Tracy's got it. So yeah. So Tracy's there's a lot it. of good stuff in here. And, um, I'm so and excited. It's, it's all meant to be fun during the event but fun and uh good health for the year through and then lots of good things to eat of course well i love it love it love it so website so we can find you guys and facebook yes. page again it's givebutter.com slash jingle that's where the actual live stream is going to be it's also going to be live streamed on facebook and youtube we don't want to make it hard for people to find it I but love this that. is what we're driving people towards is the Give Butter site because you can register there. And then also people can donate there. So we have a big goal. It's a very big goal over the next uh, year or two to recruit 300 monthly donors. Right now we have like 30. So this is a big goal. Um, but we're recruiting people who can donate like $5 a month, $20 a month, stuff, something like that. So if somebody signs up during the event to be a monthly donor, They'll be entered into a raffle to have an overnight stay at Crystal Bay and uh, dinner up at the steakhouse up there too. I so. love it. So if, if if you were to donate, let's say five or 10 or $20 a month or whatever mm -hmm. it is, can you just make one check and pay it up at once? Or does it need to be each month? I'm just asking. And it needs to be each month. So what okay. we're really encouraging is the monthly donor thing because um, – it's a, it's a way, well, we all know, like you can sign up for Netflix and kind of forget that it's happening, yeah. right? I, um, but then true. you can be gently reminded. So every month you'll get this little reminder, like, hey, I donated. I did something really good. So you get that little dopamine hit of like, I'm benefiting my community. Every month you get that little reminder of like, yeah, that's right. I am doing something good. Um, and then it also really just helps us have an even stream of donations that are coming in. I don't think people know, but nonprofit world, it's a, it's a very boom bust cycle so you can get most nonprofits have the vast majority of their giving right now yeah. so when july comes you're just it's uh tumbleweeds <laughs> mm -hmm. so right so if, that's part of the reason why we're uh we're, we're like having all these monthly donors just like this small army of people who can give whatever they can give would really make a huge difference for our budgeting okay and just, well i fun i love yeah. it 
<laughs> no, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sarah. Tracy, come on back. Let's get Tracy back. I'm here. I, I would I'm here. love you to, okay. I would love you to give, I know it's an easy website, but give it one more time. And then I'm going to go to two things I want to share that's happening. Yep. So travelnevada.com or discoveryournevada.com. Both are great resources. I wrote that down, awesome. Tracy. I'm excited to do that, actually. That's you, awesome. Awesome. Yes. It's, yeah. it's perfect for Sarah. This is this is like perfect for you because I know exactly. you're outdoorsy. Yeah. Um, so thank you both. I want to give a shout out of something fun that we could do this weekend. Jazzy George and I are doing it on Saturday. It's the Ugly Sweater Wine Walk. So I know I have an ugly sweater somewhere up in the closet way up on top. So I'll be getting that out. Well, and Georgia might even be wearing this little goodie. Or no, I think she's wearing this hat. I'll wear another hat. <laughs> but it is this Saturday, and there's only 50 tickets because it's COVID safe. So you, you can go on um, to the um, Reno Riverwalk District, their Facebook page, Reno Riverwalk District, or just put in Ugly Sweater Wine Walk 2020. It'll pop up. And it's forty dollars, and your um, I think you can get it through Eventbrite when you go on their page. And everybody who gets a ticket is entered to win um, over eight hundred dollars in prizes. So it's a way that, and you, you start, and they're going to space it out. So when you come get your tickets, so it's totally safe. It's, it's not going to be wild and crazy. It'll be nice. You're supporting local businesses, and um, so anyway, I'm excited. So please check that out. And really quick, together we are one heart mask. This is like my new thing, and uh, half I'm donating a portion. Half how am I saying? A portion of half the proceeds. I may be saying that wrong. Will go to Northern Nevada Children's Cancer Foundation, because between September 19th and February 19th, the William N. Pennington Foundation is doubling all donations. So my goal is to raise personally five thousand dollars. So this is part of it. You can go to Mari Chewy's in Sparks. Mari Chewy's in Midtown. You can go to Caliber Hair um, and Makeup Salon and you could get these for $10. And when you get these, you are helping fight children's cancer. So that is what I'm doing. I want to be sure to give a shout out for that. How much time do I have? I think it's that time already. Darn it. Goes by so One fast. Minute. One minute. So I want to um, thank Mike Owen as well. He was on the top of the hour. Our um, About Town Deb Wine, and I am partnered with Mike at Crystal Basin. And you could go to crystalbasin.com, and within we'll let you know when we launch it, and you can get wine delivered right to your door in time for the holidays. So, abouttowndeb.com, you can follow me on social media, Facebook. It's that time. I hate to go. But until then, you can always follow us on Facebook and keep in touch. And if you have any show ideas or if you want to be a sponsor, you know how to get me. And we want to thank Kim Surratt once again of Surratt, Surratt, Surratt Family Law, Surratt Practice Law. I don't know. Kim, I know you love me. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I think this whole wine thing is like between my new song and that, I'm really blessed. And thank you, Jazzy Georgia. And everybody have a great day. It's about time to go.